Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time for my reaction to the song from the Netherlands. If you're just here to see my reaction, check out the timestamp because there you can skip forward. Because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life as always. Right now I am outside and I am actually in Umeå, right here at the river. Last time I was in Umeå, the whole thing was still frozen and now I enjoy the sun here. We have a Glamdorgen, so like a day between a holiday and a weekend, so I don't have to work. And actually I am in Umeå because I am going to pick up a Tesla in, I think in three and a half hours, to test drive it over the whole night and bring it back tomorrow morning. I was actually planning to go to Umeå with a friend, with a work colleague. I don't really know what, what we would have done here, but he got sick and so now I'm I booked the train already on my own, so I'm just enjoying the weather here. I also have my Swedish learning book with me, so I'm actually learning some Swedish. I have my laptop with me, so I can also yeah, work on other things. Ah, it's really a nice day, even though it is kind of windy. That's why I also have this thing on. Yeah, and when the sun is behind the clouds, it is yeah a bit, a bit cool, actually. So it's always good when the sun is there and the wind is not there. <laughs> So I would not say it is the nicest day, but it's definitely warmer than the last day. <laughs> that is basically what's going to happen today. I will also show you later when I pick up the car. I'm also planning to do a whole individual video about the Tesla test drive. So this will be separated from today's video. But now let's talk about the biggest thing that happened, well, yesterday evening, which was the semi-final number two for the Eurovision Song Contest. And wow, I was really surprised by some of the performances. And the one that got stuck into my head the most was definitely France. The moment when the music stopped and he was just standing like two meters away from the microphone, singing out of his soul. Wow, I was really, really happy with that. And it just proved me okay, in my opinion. This might even be my top number one, but Serbia got me on the emotional side. So yeah, those two are my favorites for sure. But there were other songs that I really liked as well. So of course, the Netherlands, Europapa, I just loved how the crowd went into it. I enjoyed the song so much. And the end, I really just got overtaken by emotions. Yeah, I cried, <laughs> but that's, that's just me. And that is also the reason why I will be showing that one thing that I was really thinking about and I think it is the smartest idea is because I am now publishing the reaction to the semi-finals but I'm also kind of running kind of late because the grand final was already yesterday on the time this video is being published. So from now on all the songs that I will be publishing, all the reactions include the semi-final as well as the final performance. It would just not make too much sense for me to share them twice because I don't think there are too much changes between the semi-final and the grand final. But now I will stop talking. I will enjoy the sun when it finally appears again after the cloud and you hopefully will enjoy my reaction to Jos Klein Europapa. Let's go. And now the last song for the semi-final, the Netherlands. The Dutch people are here with Europapa. Jos Klein, I'm really really interested how he is going to perform, not with the singing, like with the whole stage setup and everything. It's probably going to be a really fun show, probably reminding me a lot on Carrie. We will see. There we go. Jost Klein. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> The crowd is loving it. They are singing with him. His smile is just so special. Oh, 
Bah. That ending is so sad, guys. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> wow. You, you just see, no matter how many songs I listen to without seeing the performances on the grand stage, it always comes different when you see them on the stage. <laughs> Thank you, Jos Klein. Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay, guys. This is now the third time that I'm recording this outro. The first time I did the outro was on Friday evening, where I have not even read anything about the Dutch participation. Then, second time was Saturday morning, when I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? He was not at the rehearsals, police is investigating. I was like, oh, if the police is involved, then there has to be something really, really bad. Then there were so many rumors that there might be a disqualification incoming due to the fact that he made comments on a press conference. Then people said there was a physical interaction with a cameraman or woman. And I just said like, nope, I also don't want to keep the second outro. I will do one after the Eurovision Song Contest is over, which is now Sunday morning. I'm really tired, but as this video is coming out tonight, I want to yeah, give my opinion on that. I don't want to put myself on one side. I can already tell you that the EBU has disqualified him because apparently there was a non-physical interaction between Jos Klein and a camera woman that was out of the camera woman's perspective so bad that she filed a complaint that she yeah basically put the police on him. Of course, if you just hear like okay a non-physical like like a gesture, a very aggressive gesture, we don't know what that means. A lot of people, also the, the, the Dutch television providers, say that the EBU was definitely making a way too big deal out of the situation, that it was really a bad idea to disqualify him. And if you have seen the grand final, Martin Oesterdal got booed so bad when he yeah appeared on the screen first when he said, like, okay, we're good to go. And then also when he had to do the points for the Dutch jury voting because the Dutch people said nope we are not doing that live we don't want to give our points if you have just banned us and I understand the frustration because you have seen my reaction right now this song is awesome and I really have grown with this song if you check out my first reaction I was telling you guys I don't like the song I gave it I don't even know four points out of ten or something like this I already knew back then that the ending is very emotional but now seeing it live in the semi-final and I just knew like okay that is one of the people who can get the public behind him who can get a lot of votes from the public for me it was a very low chance that Jos Klein would have won the Eurovision Song Contest but still I saw him very high up in the rankings place number three or four so I totally understand 
that the Eurovision fans that are really there for the music who don't want to do anything with all the drama that goes around this year's Eurovision Song Contest, they were just sad that they were not capable of listening to the song. But as I said already, also now, the day after, we just don't know what happened. Maybe there's camera footage available. The camera woman filmed Jos Klein. He told her to not film her, so maybe there is real footage available. But I don't think we will ever see it. Either way, the EBU has decided to disqualify them. I think it was not the smartest move. I guess their idea behind the whole disqualification was just, if we do so, we can keep the drama away. But with disqualifying them, they just did the opposite. Because now everyone was not only talking about the whole protests around the stadium, they were also talking about the Dutch disqualification. And of course it made sense for the show that the whole situation with Netherlands was not even mentioned. Because the crowd would have just hijacked with chants or whatever. But still, this year was a lot of drama. It really was. I will give my whole summary about this year's Eurovision Song Contest in the video which comes in two days. Because there I will include all my reactions to the jury votings, to the public votings. And I will yeah, conclude the Eurovision Song Contest of 2024. But first, in tomorrow's video, I want to show you my reaction to France. Because this was really the biggest surprise from the music perspective. Even though I already placed him very high, I think on place number two, on my own rankings before seeing the stage live performances. But it really just impressed me again. But more on that in tomorrow's video. So I hope you guys liked my reaction. Have a wonderful day. And we are going to see each other tomorrow on one of the future videos. Bye bye.